Hey guys, I wanted to make another update video to show you some of the features in Smart Music, and I also wanted to clear up some confusion about the high-tech and the low-tech options. If you have internet access at home, you should be doing the high-tech option. That should be everybody watching this, because you're watching this on YouTube, and YouTube is an internet streaming service. So if you're watching this, you have the high-tech option, which means you need to be using smart music. If you didn't have the high-tech option, you would be making recordings on your device using charms, and then whenever you got access to the internet again at school, you could then upload those. But for now, everybody's doing high-tech option. Everybody's going to be using smart music. Nobody's going to be using charms. Okay, if you don't have a Smart Music account yet, you need to go onto the Schoology group and scroll down here and find the post that Mabel made with instructions on how to get a free Smart Music account and link it to the class period that you're in. Okay, so here's Banana Joe. We're logging in. Here's Banana Joe's profile. And we're going to do a demo on, on how to use this. So. If you're in Varsity, we're going to be working on Burt Green Suite. Okay, it's a free thing, so we're going to not have to pay any money to use it. Violin, let's do movement one. Parts, violin one. Okay, here we can turn down the volume of your part if you just want to hear everybody else. Um, if you don't want to hear anybody else, you just want to hear your part, you can mute or turn down the accompaniment. Um, just make sure that your microphone's set up. Uh, there's this, like, it looks like a padlock next to the, um, the search bar at the top. Click on that and make sure that you have, that it says allow for your microphone. And then if you go over to this side of your search bar, it should have like a star for your favorites and like a little camera, click on that camera and make sure that your microphone is selected there. So there's Burt Green Suite. I'm going to show you how to use it. It's pretty easy. We're just going to make a take by hitting this record button. It's going to count to four to give us the tempo and then we're going to just kind of play through it. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so this is uh, this is not great. So uh, the red notes means uh, that I was out of tune. The green ones mean they were right. This one means that I just sang the wrong note entirely. It's F sharp instead of a G. Um, and so yeah. Um, sometimes it'll show you the note is yellow, and it'll be before or after the note. Yellow means that you miss the rhythm. You're either early or late. So overall, I got a 6%, which is not very good. So I'm going to delete this take because I'm not very proud of that. And that's okay because I got a half an hour that I'm supposed to be spending on this to get a good take. You don't have to record the whole thing. You can uh, pick a spot that you want to record and just record from like here to there or whatever. You can record from here to here, whatever you want to do. Um, you can go on to page two and uh, record something from over here. That's fine. Now, if you're in JV, unfortunately, to tame the Raging Rapids is not programmed into smart music. So you guys are going to be searching for a book called Sound Innovations for String Orchestra. Now, there's a bunch of different books. The, ones, the one that you're going to be using is the advanced book. So you're going to open that up. Put your instrument movement. You can pick whatever you know you want to work on: fast bow, slow bow. If you want to work on um, chord exercises, cole chords, ricochet bowing. Wow, lots of cool stuff. Um, different positional work: third position, fourth position, fifth position, sixth, seventh position. You know, shifting on the G string. So you can just pick an exercise that you want to work on, something that you want to do, and work on this stuff. Get a take in. I don't really care what you work on as long as it's out of this book. 
and it's about 30 minutes and I can tell how long you've been logged in and, and how long you've been playing and what you've been playing so make sure you get at least 30 minutes in on this stuff which is really not a lot of time section leaders are going to be posting some tutorials for some of the concert music they're going to be picking just a spot to work on and they're going to show you some tips on how to play it in your concert music and you can use that as an enrichment activity in addition to sound innovations or Brook Green Suite on smart music. Um, I want to spend a little bit of time looking at some of this discussion for good melodies. There's been several more posted since the last time I made an update video. So I'd like to just look at a few of them and just kind of go over what's going well and what's not going as well. Now, I'm not going over these things you know, to pick on people. I just want people to see sort of what examples of what good examples of what to do and and how to fix something if you're not doing something right. So Saini posted two. So I think it'd be cool to compare and, and objectively think which one follows the rules the best for a good melody. So here we have a leap and then step, 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 step. It follows all the rules. It's mostly stepwise motion, simple rhythm. Um, she did one of the advanced techniques, which means that you leap up and then step down in the opposite direction. So m make sure we understand what the difference is between a leap and a step. Okay, see how it goes from G to B instead of G, A, B? That is a leap because we're skipping the A and we're leaping up. You see? Now, B down to A is a step, right? It is a whole step, and then a whole step to G, a whole step to A, a whole step to G. This melody has pretty good contour. It has one single focal point here. Contour is not great. It just kind of goes back and forth between A and G. We don't want to do that more than three times. So for right here, we could go up to a B, or we could come down to an F here maybe. Um, but the contours. You know, it's, it's something that we'll talk about when we start working on phrasing. Um, let's look at the next one that Sione submitted. Okay, now see how this one has way more leaps. We have the same G to B leap, and then we step down, we step down, we step up, but then leap, 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 all these leaps in a row that really aren't prepared or resolved very well. There's more steps than leaps. We have one, two, three, four leaps, and only one, two, three steps. So for next week, when Sunny is going to harmonize one of her melodies that she wrote, she's probably going to pick this one because it's going to be much easier to harmonize. All of this leap stuff right here is going to be very tricky when it comes to harmonization. That's why we put those rules there for you guys to follow. So make sure you figure out the difference between a leap and a step. Um, let's see if we've got other examples. Let's look at Morgan's here. Now Morgan does have a lot of leaps, but it outlines um, a G minor arpeggio. So that's going to be easier to harmonize. She has one, two, three, four leaps, but then everything else is stepwise motion and she has the G, D, B flat, D. So like um, it's all outlined that arpeggio, so she's going to be able to harmonize that a lot easier than if she didn't. Okay. Let's see. Logan wrote a super awesome melody. This is his second one, by the way. It's a 24 measure melody. It has bowings, it has style markings, it has a lot of cool stuff. Um, Rita wrote something pretty cool um, using Note Flight. Um, she it's mostly stepwise motion. She has a couple leaps here. Might want to rework this uh, for next week before we start harmonizing it. Um, uh, but the rest of it's really good. This, it's a pretty cool D minor melody. Yeah, that's going to work out really well. Um, let's see here. What else do we have? Let's look at Brian's. Brian has some music theory background. Okay, we have two leaps in a row. They're not really prepared. This might be a little messy to harmonize. We have a step, a leap in the same direction. Then we have three A's in a row, which 
isn't any kind of motion at all and then step step so really we have one leap two leaps three leaps and we only have one two three steps so it's not really mostly it's equal amount of stepwise motion to leaps so we might want to fix that before next week Ashley's is broken it's broken it's the invisible melody um, draft uno okay this is an excerpt from a symphony that she'll never finish. Uh, the rhythms here are pretty complicated. This is going to be kind of a pain to um, harmonize. Now, right here, we're not supposed to have a leap of over an octave, and this is several octaves. Or, uh, sorry, we're not supposed to leap a leap over uh, over a fifth. This is several octaves up. Um, stepwise motion here leap step leap okay so yeah probably want to do a draft dose and um, simple make sure to get the rhythm a lot simpler and uh, that that's gonna be a big one because next week we're gonna be doing species counterpoint first species counterpoint so everything's gonna be lined up one to one and that's just gonna be really tricky um, yeah, let's look at Amy's. This will be the last one. This is really good. Step, 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 leap. It's in the same direction, but it's going to work fine. And then all the rest are steps. So yeah, this is going to be pretty easy to harmonize. It's simple, simple rhythm, simple melody, good contour. Everything's going to look good. All right, guys, um, thanks for watching this video. Again, just do your best. Don't stress out. Don't get overwhelmed. You know, this is a spectrum of what you can do. Some people are going the extra mile. Some people are looking for enriching opportunities at home. Um, some people, you know, we're just happy if they're posting anything because we only have 61 posts. You know, some people, we're just happy if they're joining the group or even bothering to watch these videos. Um, you know, we're some of some of us you know we're even struggling to pick up our instruments from the school uh, so where are you on the spectrum right now are you going above and beyond are you hanging in there or are you not keeping up so think about where you are and where you need to be all right guys have a good weekend uh, on monday you'll have a new lesson for week two's assessments not assessments tasks got to get the terminology right we're not doing assessments right now Again, no charms. Please do not do charms. Do everything in smart music. Thanks, guys.